Rihanna, let's go. I'm sorry, but Rihanna's legally underage. I can't release her without her parents' permission. But, but her parents are in... Where, Paul? Don't worry, Rihanna. I'll find a way to get you out of here. Paul! Now my dad thinks I'm crazy and that shrink thinks Rihanna's crazy. Maybe if I get this thing working, he'll believe me. This electromagnetic field must have disrupted the electricity supply. At least it'll convince my dad. Yeah, well, if my dad sees us, we're dead meat. Let's get out of here. Dad! Dad! Hired her to look after us. She's great. She even taught me to dance. Hi. Hi, Paul. It's nice to meet you. Dad told me about you being lost. Must have been awful. Yeah, where is he? He's working overnight at the lab. Oh, you know, I should call him because he wanted to know if you're all right. He was a little worried about it. No, no, I'll, I'll do it. Hi, Gina. I'm Alex. Hi. <laughs> I eat here every Tuesday. Okay. Mm, what's for dinner? Uh, spaghetti. <laughs> no, the resistance is still too high. Reduce the temperature 10 degrees. Dr. Reynolds, it's a son. Thanks, Colin. Paul? Look, I'm sorry about this afternoon. Yeah, I have to show you something. When will you be home? Ah, well, hopefully I should see you by breakfast. Uh, did you meet Gina? Yes. Now, please, don't give her a hard time. Shut it down! Uh, Paul, things are a little frantic around here. You have a good sleep. We'll talk about it in the morning. You have lucked out, mate. Not only is Gina a sponge, she makes a great spaghetti. Yeah, forget that. We have to get Brianna out of that hospital. Well, there's nothing we can do now. We'll go and see her at lunch tomorrow. Paul, come and grab your dinner. Great, that's just what I need, a babysitter. I'd be a baby. If Gina was looking after me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Paul, you have no choice in this. Tell me how to make gunpowder. You want to use the gunpowder against the regions. And then you want to rule the spellbinders. Very perceptive. Astonishing. When the regents see this, Ashka is finished as a spellbinder. What about Rihanna? Will the regents help me get her back from Paul's world? One thing at a time, God. Where have you been? I thought Grievon had got you. I led them round in circles. <laughs> They are totally confused. It quickly, Zandal. We are going to the Spellbinder's castle. <laughs> Bron! Bron! The castle is this way. I left my family in Kalehel. I'm not going anywhere till I'm sure they say. It's not that far out of our way. Bron, wait! We are coming! An ancient history if my parents find out I'm here. Yeah, well, you didn't have to come. This was Rihanna's bed. Where is she? Excuse me. Where's Rihanna? 
Rihanna tried to run away yesterday. We had to move her to the security ward. She's refusing to talk. Well, can I see her? Maybe she'll talk to me. I'm about to go to my clinic. Please? All right, but your friends will have to stay out here. get my father to agree. Can Rihanna come home with us? I'm sorry. We can't release Rihanna until we find her parents. But they're not in this world. Where are they, Rihanna? I can't help if you won't talk to me. We'll have to tell her the truth. No, she'll never believe us. You can trust me. You can't talk to my parents because I come from another world. It's called the Spellbinders Land. And Rihanna can't get back there until we find out how to open the energy doorway. Paul, I think that's enough for today. I'm not leaving without Rihanna. I don't want to call an orderly. Paul, don't leave me. I won't, I promise. You're not helping by supporting Rihanna's man. It's the truth. Why don't you give me your phone number? I'd like to talk to your father. So you can lock me up too? These are the dark ages, Paul. Psychiatrists aren't monsters. My daughter actually thinks I'm quite a nice person. Maybe we could break her in out of there. She's not be serious. She saved my life. I have to rescue her. <laughs> the only way we get past the video surveillance is if there was a blackout. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The power suit. It's all right, Yao. When Dad gets back, we'll build a better house. That's right. With a loft just for you. I have posted guards all around the village. If Bron returns, we'll get him. For the sake of your village, I hope you're right. Get moving. Come on, Yara. We are going to see the Spellbinders castle. Won't that be exciting? What about Rihanna? She won't last long on her own. Two hostages are enough. Paul, what do you think of Gina? Oh, she's OK. Why? She isn't married. I asked her. Uh -huh. What are you doing with Dad's lab coat? That's for school. We're, we're dissecting rats in science tomorrow. Nah, lots of blood. Oh, yuck. Gina's a great cook, isn't she? Chris, what are you on about? Nothing, just thinking. OK, well, go and think somewhere else. I've got homework to do. Hmm.
Any problems? Nah. You can do anything in there if you're wearing a white coat. <laughs> All that. There's an awful lot of electrical equipment in there. Hope we don't short out the whole hospital. No, don't worry. The suit isn't that powerful. Uh, well, last chance to back out. Shut up. You're supposed to be concussed. Five fifty nine. Come on, Katrina. Security ward. Hi, I'm Dr. Lim's daughter. Mum thinks she left her bag in the office. Could you check and see if it's there? Yeah, hang on a minute. Okay, let's go. It's useless. Oh, maybe we can pretend to be crazy too. I mean, they won't put us in jail if we're crazy. Alex, we're not going to go to jail. Some strange people came into my room. They went in that door up there. Good girl. Go back inside and close the door. Terribly sorry, man. Rihanna, now we're trapped here until the cops arrive. No, we're not. A laundry chute. Um, what if it leads to a furnace? Oh, don't be stupid, Alex. Why would they burn their sheets? I think we should think about this. You can stay and think. I'm going. Dad's car isn't here. He must still be at the lab. We'll have to sneak in, Rihanna. Thank you for rescuing me. Both of you. Don't I get a hug? <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, actually, I mean, in our world, when a, when a boy saves a girl, she usually gives him a big kiss. See you in the morning, Alex. Oh, spoil sport. <laughs>
<sighs> I'm safe. Is this room all yours? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So many things. Who's this? It's my mother. It was taken just before she died. It's okay, Rihanna. I'm sure Bron and Marin are all right. And my dad will find a way to get you back home. I promise. It looks safe enough. Dad! What are you doing out here? You have to hide. The summoner is looking for you. Where is your mother and you? The spellbinder Ashka took them to the castle. Dad, she burnt our house. It's coming back for me. There is Bron. Call the summoner. Come on. I was trying to keep Christine out. Well, I'm sorry I was short with you yesterday. Things at work have been a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Let me get dressed first. Well, I'll see you downstairs. Why didn't you tell him about me? Look, I didn't think he could cope with seeing a girl in my bedroom first thing in the morning. Now, you wait here. I'll go down and break it to him gently. Great French toast, Dad. Mm, very nice. Jean is a great cook. Mm. Like to cook. And Dad likes to eat. What a coincidence. Oh, hi, Jane. Hi, Paul. There's French toast for breakfast if you'd like some. Just think, Paul. French toast for breakfast every morning. Right. Well, I've got to get to the shops. I'll see you later. Thanks, Gina. Okay. We really like having you here, Gina. Don't we, Dad? <sighs> yeah. Bye, Gina. What was it you wanted to speak to me about? Christine, could you go watch TV or something? I'd like to talk to Dad in private. Please. Thanks. So, Dad, well, you know, I've been saying some pretty strange things lately. Christine, you know I don't want you watching that stuff in the morning. We switch on the news. Damage well, to computers and security equipment at St. Matthews it could run into thousands of dollars. It all happened in a flash. Police wish to interview a boy named Paul. Oh. I thought you wanted to talk to me. No. I left the tape running. Laps on the road in my heart. Sorry. Is your father ready to meet me now? No, I couldn't tell him. We caused a lot of damage at the hospital last night. But your father was going to help you get home. Paul, come on. I'll drop you at school. I'm coming. We'll sort everything out when I get back. Now make yourself at home, wear some of my clothes. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, wait until everyone's gone, then help yourself to the fridge. It's the big white box in the kitchen. And stay inside. Don't let anyone see you. Thank you. 
You were supposed to break Rihanna out, not destroy the hospital. Things got a bit out of hand. Out of hand? We could go to jail. No, we won't. The police can't trace us. No one knows who we are. Well, did you tell your dad about Rihanna? I didn't dare. So where is she? At home. But on her own? She'll be all right. Did the dragon scare you? Would you like to hear a story about a dragon? Then sit down and I'll begin. Once upon a time, there was a little dragon who couldn't fly. He was a sorry little dragon. He just didn't know what to do with himself. Poor little dragon. should be doing this. Not now. You have to hide before Christine gets back. Come on, come on. What happened? I had a bit of an accident. And I'll clean it up. Why don't you go and play us? Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Who are you?